You're taking the subway in your city at rush hour. You barely have any room to move. You look around, trying to find interesting people. Instead, what you see is mostly middle-aged people absorbed by their phone, slightly out of shape, with tired and depressed faces. You can't help but feel bad for them. In that moment, you promise yourself that you won't work 9 to 5. You get home and try to think about what you want to do with your life. It's uncomfortable and your mind keeps thinking about other things. Your Minecraft hardcore server, that Netflix series you've been watching or your crush at school that you have been scared to ask out. Eventually, you give up and decide you should search the internet for answers. You stumble upon content from some guys with nice cars and lots of women, so you become interested. What they're saying is that you need to start a business in order to make money, which is your most important goal. Also, they tell you to be physically strong and not show any emotion, since that means you're not a man. You start by posting TikToks and YouTube shorts of motivational videos and try to build up audiences. It's going well and you are also starting to build some muscle, making you prouder of your physique. The bad part is that you haven't taken care of your social media addiction and you are seeing all of these people that are either more successful or more attractive than you, which brings down your self-esteem. You decide that just doing short videos isn't cutting it anymore, so you search for other business models. You find this thing called dropshipping and think it's the right one for you, so you decide to go all in this time. Again, the profit you are making isn't even enough to sustain your life, so you quit. Since you are putting a decent amount of time into these sort of things, you are failing out of school. You want to drop out, but the fact that your crush is there is holding you back. With that, you gather up the courage needed to ask her out on a date. She rejects you. You get depressed and start blaming yourself for not being good enough. You then discover black pill content and decide that you've got bad genetics and you will never be able to get a girlfriend. You get expelled from high school and are now just living in your parents' house. You start skipping workouts, you start eating junk food again, and your addiction to the internet becomes even worse. Your parents fight because of your situation, they get divorced, your father leaves the country, and your mother kicks you out of the house at 18. With no high school or college degree, you go and work at the local McDonald's to make some money. Every day, you go back to your rented flat, which is an absolute mess. You spend hours upon hours on your phone and then you usually fall asleep while watching videos and you wake up the next day and hurry to work, where you get inside of that toxic environment, both physically and emotionally, just so you can afford rent and unhealthy food. One day, you get on the subway on your way home at rush hour. You barely have any room to move. You are absorbed by your phone, slightly out of shape, with a tired and depressed face. You blame women and the system that you live in for all of your problems. You decide you've had enough. At the next stop, you get out of the metro, you await the next one, and right before it gets into the station, you jump onto the rails. The story that I told shows the dangers of the internet. You might say it's an exaggeration, and it probably is, but I think I needed to say it in this particular way in order to send my message straight. There are a lot of influencers online that preach the way to become successful. I agree with some of the things that they say, but the biggest mistake is that they show you another way, not your way. What do I mean by this? Let's take the example of hypothetical you from my story. What did the internet tell him? Make YouTube content, make TikTok videos, do dropshipping. These are some ways to make money, sure, but they are far from the only ones and are also very unlikely to be what this imaginary you would like. These men know that teens are struggling and they take advantage of them emotionally in order to make profit, some consciously and some victims of the very trap they laid out. Again, the biggest issue with this is that there isn't an alternative for young men and they blindly trust anything they watch on the internet. Going back to the story I told, what do you think was the biggest mistake of our character? Not working out anymore? No. Stopping doing dropshipping? No. Asking his crush out? Certainly not. What I try to highlight as the cause of all of this is found in this section. You get home and try to think about what you want to do with your life. It's uncomfortable and your mind keeps thinking about other things. Your Minecraft hardcore server, that Netflix series you've been watching, or your crush at school that you have been scared to ask out. Eventually, you give up and decide you should search the internet for answers. You should search the internet for answers. The internet is the last place that you should search for answers, unless you are so aware that you are questioning every piece of information that you are hearing. 
I'm going to assume you aren't at that stage yet, so I'll give you some advice. It would be hypocritical of me to say that this is mandatory, so do it only if you wish. I think that the best place to search for answers is yourself. What I believe you should do is learn how to spend time with yourself. Be able to sit in silence with your thoughts or without them and just live. Be happy that you are living. Attempt to avoid the internet as much as you can as it usually makes you angry about things that are completely irrelevant to your own life. You control all of the answers to the biggest questions you pose. You just have to look for them. If you follow the genuine desires of yourself, I think that will lead you to the best life you can live. Of course, there are still tips out there that apply to most, if not all, like a good nutrition and physical activity that are embedded in human nature, but it is the way you approach them that should be decided entirely by you. You shouldn't go vegan because someone told you to. That isn't to say you shouldn't go vegan at all, if that desire comes from within you and you genuinely feel better that way. For me, I'm pretty confident that would be an inadequate diet and I base my decision on that, but you shouldn't. I've received compliments from people on my physique and discipline and some have even asked me for advice in all sorts of different areas. I always start my answer with, this is just what I found works for me at this time. You should experiment and find what's best for you. I then describe a framework of what I do in order to achieve good results in whatever area they're asking about. The best way to experiment that I found for myself is journaling. I go more in depth on this in this video about optimism, so you can check it out later if you wish. The beautiful thing about journaling is that it is what works for me right now and you shouldn't blindly trust it is the best thing for you. You can experiment with it and see if you enjoy it, but there is no guarantee about that. I know I started this video off with a very sad story and I apologize for any discomfort caused, but I wish to end it on a positive note. While writing the script for this video, I realized just how beautiful human diversity is. It is coded within our DNA. We don't need to enforce it, it just comes naturally as long as we stay true to ourselves. I hope the story from the beginning of the video has a lasting impact on you and determines a change in your life in case you are going down the wrong path. If you are ever struggling, don't be hesitant to ask for help. It's your life, but you're not living it on your own. If others need help, don't be hesitant to give it either. Good is in you and in every single one of us. I truly and deeply wish you the best. The only algorithm you should allow to influence your life is your own. Find your way.